In this video, we're going to create a basic flow in Azure Logic Apps that automatically scans new file uploads in an Azure Blob storage container for viruses, malware, and other content threats. We can use this flow to flag suspicious content, including executables, scripts, macros, and more. Please note that to follow along with this video, you will need to have uploaded the CloudMersive Virus Scan API as a custom connector in Azure Logic Apps using an OpenAPI URL specification found on the CloudMersive website. Advanced CloudMersive scans are not available through the standard CloudMersive Virus Scan connector. We'll start off in the Azure Logic Apps Designer. In our first step, we'll create a trigger action that sends blob properties to our flow whenever new files are uploaded in a target container. Let's search for the Azure Blob Storage Connector, and then let's jump down and click on the only trigger we have available called when a blob is added or modified. If we've used the Azure Blob Storage Connector before, we'll jump straight into selecting our account name, container, and other details. As we can see, I have a connection already saved, so if you don't have that set up yet, you can take a second to name your connection and pick your authentication type. I use access key authentication to keep it simple, and that way I can get all my details from the access keys tab of my Azure Blob storage account. When we're ready, let's select our storage account name from the dropdown, and then let's select a container from that storage account. I'm going to stick with the rest of the below default settings, but we can easily customize these fields if we want our flow to check for items faster than every three minutes, or if we want to specify our time zone and a preferred start time. In our next step, we're going to get the actual blob content using blob properties we retrieved in our trigger. Let's click New Step, and then let's search for the Azure Blob Storage Connector once again. In the Actions list, let's search for the Get Blob Content action, and then let's go ahead and select it. We can now specify our storage account name again, and we can click on the Specify Blob field to bring up dynamic content from our trigger step. Let's now select a dynamic content named List of Files ID. Now that we have blob content in our flow, we can call our custom CloudMersive Advanced Virus Scan Connector into action. Let's click New Step, and then let's navigate over to the Custom tab to find our custom connector. Let's select the connector we created via OpenAPI URL specification, and then let's click on the first action called Advanced Scan a File for Viruses. If we haven't yet created our connection, we'll need to provide a connection name and then enter our API key into the second field. We can get a free API key for testing by registering a free account on the CloudMersive website, and by doing that, we'll get a limit of 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments. In our advanced scan action, we can click on the input file field and click see more to get dynamic content labeled file content from our get blob content step. Below that, we can click on the Add a New Parameter dropdown to set custom threat rules on top of our virus and malware scanning service. Let's go ahead and select everything from this list. Most of these take Boolean values, so we can select true or false from dropdowns to specify which content types we want to disallow. When we disallow a content type, it means any content matching our threat rule will receive a clean result false response in the API response body. We can use that response to take actions on our file, like deleting it or quarantining it. If we look down at the bottom two parameters here called options and restrict file types, we can enter strings to block certain types of content instead of using booleans. In the Options parameter, we can specify that we want to allow PDFs containing HTML and JavaScript because they'll otherwise get flagged by default. 
In the restrict file types parameter, we can enter a custom whitelist of acceptable file extensions, which means anything not included on that list will be flagged with a clean result false response. We can now test our logic app by first saving it and then running our trigger. This will now wait for us to add a new file to the Azure Blob storage container we specified. Once we do that, our flow should run pretty quickly and we can check our custom connector response body to see if our file was clean. This will verify our file format automatically and report whether image objects, JSON objects, or XML objects were hidden within our file on top of everything else we specified. We can use any of this information to trigger subsequent steps in our flow, such as deleting or quarantining problematic files. That's all there is to it. Please like and subscribe for more Azure Logic Apps and Powered Automate demonstrations.